The Caro are an indigenous Quechua people living in the Altiplano, the Andean highlands of Peru. The Caro shamans, or Pacos, are honored as some of the best and most powerful of the Andes. They are masters at ceremony and are specialists at working with the Apus, the mountain spirits. Despacho ceremonies are the primary way Quero Pacos communicate with the natural world, and they are done for everything from healing and eliminating illness to ensuring abundant crops, safe passage, or optimal weather. A despacho is an intricate offering made of coca leaf quintus, colorful papers, candies, flowers, shells, llama fat, and any number of items placed with specific intention onto a sheet of paper. Placed one by one, the offerings build an elaborate altar which is then wrapped up as a gift and then ritualistically burned for the apus, pachamama, or the spirits of a place. A despacho ceremony always begins with the sharing and chewing of coca by those present. Quintus, a stack of three perfect coca leaves, are passed around and each participant in the ceremony blows their prayers into their quintu before the paco places them into the despacho. Each item placed onto the paper holds significance and depending upon the reason for the despacho, the offerings vary. The Quero believe that different spirits like different things. Pachamama, Mother Earth, likes brightly colored candies, cookies, and sweets, as well as a little red wine. The Apus and spirits of the upper world like white carnations, cotton, incenses, pisco, and other lighter fare while the spirits of the underworld like dark colored offerings such as raisins and chocolate. Despachos always include a shell to represent the ocean and llama fat, which helps the package to burn. Sometimes dried llama fetuses are added as well and condor feathers. Once the despacho is complete, it is wrapped in the paper, tied with thread and wrapped in another sacred cloth. The Paco blows and says prayers into the despacho, and then blesses each participant with the package, first removing dense, disharmonious energy called hucha, then blowing in refined, light energy called sami. Finally, a fire is built, and the despacho is burned so that the spirits may receive the offering. The ashes left by the despacho are always inspected and often tell how a particular offering was accepted by the spirits. Generally, pure white and light ashes are signs of a well-received offering. To learn how you can support the Quero and other indigenous peoples of the world, please visit CSEE at www.shamaniceducation.org